Here we have for sale our 2019 on a 19-plate Volkswagen Transporter. This is the T6, which is the shape, the sixth generation of Transporter. This is the T30 edition combi with the two liter TDI Euro 6 diesel engine producing 150 brake horsepower and in this van accompanied with the seven speed DSG automatic gearbox. This is the short wheelbase in the fantastic metallic indium gray. Uh, this van is far from standard. So what we're gonna do is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec that you get uh, as standard on a uh, addition combi, which is a, an amazing spec uh, from factory. Uh, but as I say, this one is far from standard with the main thing really being the Caravelle conversion which has been done on the interior which you may have already seen in the advert if you're coming here from say Auto Trader or maybe our own website but anyway starting here then at the rear of the vehicle we can see that this one is specced with a glazed tailgate and generally this is as they come as uh, standard with a glazed tailgate so a tailgate is one door which opens up like so and then also the glazed meaning it has got the rear window and you also get the heating elements there. You can just about see the, uh, I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but little orange lines in there. So the heated rear window, and you also get the rear wash wipe as well. This one then has been debadged. So you'd usually get a transporter badge along here. That's been taken off. And the normal chrome badge on the back has been changed for gloss black. This one has also got a rear bumper protector there, which I always like to see, because uh, it obviously it's just such a high traffic area. Uh, in and out of the rear of the vehicle. It's so easy to uh, scuff the top of those rear bumpers. The bumpers do come color coded along with all of the door handles. On an addition, um, one difference is you get black wing mirror covers uh, as opposed to color coded that you'd get, say, on a high line. You also get parking sensors, so you've got rear parking sensors there as standard. And an addition actually also comes with a reversing camera as standard as well. So it's a really, really good spec on these vehicles from the factory. Opening up the tailgate then, we can start to have a look inside the back of the van and then this, as I say, is where things start to get very, very different on this particular vehicle. Everything in the back of here has been changed from the normal combi. So this has got, um, as I say, a full Caravelle interior inside here. So this is a proper uh, VW Caravelle rear seat. The lovely thing with this seat um, is that it is on these uh, runners so you can actually slide this seat backwards and forwards so if you want to gain more boot space we've got it set pretty much at the back of how far it will go back um, but if you want to gain more boot space you can move that seat forward it will also fold down flat uh, to give you somewhat of a bed and you could maybe combine that with those seats there in the front um, basically so you could sleep two people on there as well if you want to you can see these little hooks here these are for a top tether uh, for a child seat uh, but an absolutely fantastic thing to see there in the back. You can also see the flooring has been changed for a full carpet floor. And as I say, those proper nice Caravelle uh, runners there in the floor as well. Also on the sides, the vehicle is fully insulated and carpet lined on the side. And there's also a number of additional spotlights in the roof, uh, which are actually controlled by a little switch. You can just see above my finger there on that pillar, a little switch down there, which controls those. Inside the back then, uh, of the tailgate you've also got carpet lining inside there but fantastic condition nothing really to fault inside there the addition also comes with the um, nice addition decals around the vehicles just a really subtle black gloss black strip there along the bottom of the tailgate with addition on the side which is very nice some optional extras then this one has got a power latch in tailgate a standard additions come with a power latch in side loading door but say so this one's got a power latch in tailgate um, and i believe this one has actually got led tail lights as well which is also very nice mud flaps on the vehicle so genuine vw mud flaps are on this particular van uh, this one has also been lowered so you can see here, uh, not by very much, I would, uh, this wasn't done by us, but I would estimate that that was done uh, 30 to 40 mil by looking at the arch gap that we've got here, but really nice. I know it's certainly not over the top, doesn't take away from the usability of the van in any way. This one has got a lovely set of 20 inch caliber gunmetal gray alloy wheels, fully uh, load rated for a T30, which is uh, of course the weight class of this vehicle and I think they just set the vehicle off very, very nicely indeed. Looking then down the side of the driver's side here, and this is where we can start to have a look in the reflections, having a look for any sort of dings or dents or anything like that. It must be said, in absolutely stunning condition. I mean, very low miles on this particular van. It is one owner from new. They've clearly very much uh, cared for it. Um, obviously the, the expenditure which has gone into this uh, is, you know, a lot 
to, to change the uh, interior of the van to what they've done plus all the extra bits on the outside. Uh, another thing which has been changed here, so we've got actually uh, a, a sort of dummy pane of glass there to the rear quarter. Uh, the reason for that, it just really gives a better look, I think, down the side of the vehicle. So you can't actually, as I say, you can't see out of that rear quarter, but it's there to continue that look. So you haven't just got, you know, glass here and then a gray panel there. It just gives that really nice continuation there down the side of the vehicle. You can also then see just down here at the bottom of the door and this rear panel here. You can also see then that addition decal there continuing. This one then has also had side bars and roof bars added as well, which of course wouldn't come from factory. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, you do get gloss black wing mirror covers on the addition. Now, starting to have a look inside the cab and the conversion has not stopped there. They've also gone to the extent of putting um, Caravelle front seats in the vehicle, which are absolutely stunning. They're in a half leather, half Alcantara finish, which is very, very nice and being, you know, factory sort of VW seats as such, um, you know, very comfortable, all the sort of quality and usability that you would expect. You've got adjustable armrests, on both of the front seats and they've also put swivel bases in so you've got a little handle there and the same on the other seat as well so you can actually swivel these seats around as well if you want to all standard spec then we've got electric windows electric heated folding mirrors and that is how those are operated there just by turning it to the folding position if you were to put it back then to say the heating position or a different position then they will fold back down. Auto activated lights. You can see that we've got two full remote keys with the vehicle. Leather multifunctioning steering wheel. You've got your cruise control on the left hand side there and your volume controls for the radio. And on the right hand side, your onboard computer controls just there as well. Looking at the mileage, 17,250 miles. You can see there the vehicle's running and idling correctly. No warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard. And no excessive wear to the steering wheel as you'd expect with 17,000 miles. Now, people who know their VWs, will know that this is part of the comfort dash package. Again, that is an optional extra that does not come as standard on the addition. Uh, you can't actually spec this in a brand new transporter as well. So this is a really, really nice feature. And one of the, uh, there's a couple of features which didn't transfer over from a T6 to a T6.1. And this is one of them. And I think it just makes a big, big difference to the interior of the vehicle, it makes it a lot more car-like. I'll talk you through a bit more of the spec when we go around to the uh, passenger side there in uh, just a second, so stick around for that. Moving then around to the front of the vehicle, more spec really here to talk of, uh, things that wouldn't have come as standard. All of the grills on the front of the vehicle have been changed for gloss black, so these would usually come in a gray plastic. All of those have been changed for gloss black and also a gloss black front badge. This one has then got a Sportline style lower splitter there. Um, also front parking sensors as well. An addition comes as standard with the LED lights, with the LED daytime uh, running lights. An absolutely fantastic feature to have on a transporter. Standard headlights on transporters are not, uh, they haven't got the greatest reputation. They're not known as being uh, particularly effective, but these LEDs are absolutely brilliant. And it's lovely to see that the addition does come as standard with that. The other thing which an addition comes with is a gloss black roof as well. So. That is why, uh, as I say, grills have been changed, badges have been changed, um, uh, you know, things like that uh, panel, the, the, the rear glass there, that obviously, you know, black glass to continue with everything else there. It all ties in very, very nicely, I think. So you've got, of course, the Indian grey paintwork and then a lot of the other elements then in black. And I think it just contrasts so, so nicely on this van. Condition here at the front then, let's have a really good look at the bonnet maybe a couple of very you know one tiny little minor stone chip there but otherwise looking absolutely spot on anything down here to talk again couple of just minor little stone chips as you would expect from this sort of age and mileage these little cutouts here below the um below the headlights that is a really quick way of telling that a vehicle has got factory LEDs because those are headlight washers. Uh, of course, people don't go to the extent of putting those in if they put in aftermarket LED lights in. Looking down the passenger side of the vehicle then, and again, just looking in, the, in those reflections, you can just see how clean and straight this is. Absolutely stunning. Right, let's open up the passenger door then. Let's have a look at a bit more of the spec in here. This one has got cab carpet which I don't believe comes as standard on the addition. So that's a really nice optional extra. Again, gives it, a, again, a bit more of a car-like feel. 
This one uh, has got nice carpet over mats as well, but if we move those out of the way, you can see it's all perfect condition underneath there. So the cab, um, comfort dash, sorry. That uh, includes this lovely um, sort of uh, gloss gray uh, upper glove box here, which is all flocked on the inside. So it's like, it's like actually has a kind of carpeted inside and they um, reroute the USBs, which are usually on the dashboard here. They reroute, reroute those inside. So there's a, a USB and a, an AOX port in there. I've got my phone plugged in there and I'll show you why in just a second. But the Comfort Dash also gives you this lovely sort of brushed aluminium finish on there. And then also an extra cubby hole on top there, which again is also flocked as well. But just having a moment here to appreciate these seats in the front, absolutely stunning. If I jump in, I can show you a bit more of the spec. And the other thing with Comfort Dash, you do get a cubby hole just here with a 12 volt socket. Underneath that there, there's a little slide out, some more cup holders, and down below that, there's even another one for a bigger bottle down there as well. Into the center then, and um, all additions come with this. So you get the larger screen, which has got App Connect, so that's why I've got my phone plugged in. So you've got things like Apple CarPlay, and you can use uh, features on here such as uh, Apple Maps. You can also listen to your music or podcasts this way as well. Uh, you can even navigate by Google Maps or Waze uh, also if you want to. If I go back onto the normal page then, you can see that we have got DAB radio on here. And then if we click on nav, you've also got satellite navigation as well. Air conditioning, heated windscreen. This one has got the optional extra of heated seats. I don't believe that comes as standard on the addition, so it's lovely to see that, especially as we're coming into the uh, winter months. And so you've got that seven speed DSG automatic gearbox, absolutely stunning condition in there. And then finally, let's have a look at this Caravel conversion in the back. Oh, one other thing as well, the uh, addition comes with these black decals here, um, which actually I think just continue that glass really nicely as well. As I say, power latch inside loading door. What that means is, if you're not familiar, I'm just glossing over that. Um, that's basically soft closure. So when you shut the door, uh, it's that last little bit. It soft closes it back into position. Looking into the rear of the vehicle then, and let's have a look at this as a Caravel interior inside here. So it's a fully carpet lined on the sides. Rear seats, again, finished in this lovely half leather and Alcantara um, uh, trim. You've got a center fold out armrest just there as well which is really really nice of course three uh, three belted seats you have got isofix on the two outer seats just there there's controls underneath as i say you can use these to actually fold this down completely flat or even slide the uh, seat backwards and forwards as well to change positions as you wish caravel is not complete without the caravel table of course so this is absolutely fantastic you can uh, as you spin this around the sides drop down. There's also functions on here for uh, two extra cup holders in the back. You can then press this button there and lower the table down like so. And then there's a handle on the back there so you can actually slide that completely out of the way as well. So an absolutely brilliant little table, little cubby holes on the side here. Um, and as I say, because you've got this seating configuration here where you can have the seats facing each other if you want to, um, it just really helps in that environment. These seats then, as a single seat, you've got, you can actually recline these seats. So by pulling on this handle just here, you can actually change the, the backrest. You have got adjustability there. Again, Isofix compatible as well for any people carrying children. And again, you can slide these seats backwards and forwards. These ones are also on a swivel as well. So you can actually have all of the seats facing forward if you want to, or maybe just one if that's how you want it to travel. And then finally then, because I could literally talk about this van all day, in the back here, we have also got a uh, drop-down DVD player on the side here. There's a couple of extra inputs as well. So USB, HDMI, and there's a card there as well. And what that is, AV2 in. So I'm not sure what you can put in there, but I say a couple of different inputs there as well um, on the screen there. So if you've got passengers cat in the back of you, I say especially children, certainly keep them occupied there in the back. Uh, yeah, you probably wouldn't pick that up on camera, but to say that last little bit on the side loading door, it just pulls it in nice and soft. An absolutely stunning van, one order from new. We do have previous service history with this vehicle. We've just put it right through our workshop as well for uh, service. But this really is a super unique opportunity. 
can't think of a T6 that we've had which has maybe been specced quite as highly as this. It has got pretty much everything on it uh, and as I say with that amazing uh, interior there in the back what a fantastic family vehicle uh, as well to uh, integrate there absolutely beautiful lovely condition uh, as you can hopefully see from the camera all round looking very very nice indeed and I say one from you two keys absolutely everything going for it if you would like to see the full advert, if you haven't seen it already, please head over to our website, bridgenvans.co.uk. Uh, I say that's where you'll find the price description and the photography of this vehicle. Uh, we will welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed there at the bottom of the sign. We can arrange delivery of all of our vehicles. We can arrange finance at very competitive rates, and we can also take cars or vans in part exchange. I almost forgot this one has actually got a detachable tow bar as well on the back. Uh, congrats for making it to this point in the video. You haven't uh, gone to sleep just yet, but yeah, we will look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much for watching.